Hello, this is Dr. Tad Thompson with Reproduction Specialty Group. Uh, today I'd like to discuss uh, the techniques in shipping uh, fresh cooled semen as well as the splashing technique uh, for our goat uh, producers. So uh, when you get ready to start your splashing technique, we're going to have a, uh, an information sheet such as this that will outline some of the details uh, and, and some, uh, of the supplies that you're going to need in order to uh, make that successful. So you can have that ahead of time and look at it. But effectively what you're going to want to have is your nine inch uh, in pipettes. And so you'll see here in a few minutes why we prefer that length of pipette. And then we're gonna have a nice new either three or six mil syringe. And just so it's clean and there's no risk of contamination with that. You're gonna start off with the pipette and they're gonna have these nice uh, rubber adapters that allow that syringe to attach well to it. Okay, so those are gonna be the basics of the uh, material you need to start with. And then when your semen arrives to you, it's gonna arrive in one of the uh, various shipping methods. This is an Equine Express box or Canine Express if you look at the other side of it. This is an Equitainer, uh, all of which many of you have probably already seen and used. Uh, the way the Equitainers work is there are ice cans in the bottom underneath the thermal equalizer and then your semen sample comes in the top. So that's the way this one will look or with your uh, styrofoam box systems they will have the lid an ice pack and then your sample underneath which would be here wrapped up in the towel each of the shipments from us will come with an information sheet which will outline the bucks uh, details and uh, semen quality that you'll receive And then uh, in this particular shipment, the, the semen is wrapped up in a paper towel. Paper towel helps to fill up the space so the semen is not bouncing around in there. And it looks like this is milestone here. Okay, so we're gonna confirm that this is the name of the buck and that the paperwork matches and then that's who you're gonna breed your doe to. Uh, in an ideal situation, you may have some kind of a container uh, that you could set the vials of semen in uh, just so you don't spill them or or to tip them over. But in this situation, we're gonna open this up. Um, we know that there's about 13 mils of semen here. So per the instruction sheets and the concentration of your sample, uh, one mil of semen is gonna to equate to about 100 million sperm cells per breeding dose. So we're gonna start off with about one milliliter of air, just so we can make sure we get all of the semen dispensed from the uh, pipette. And then we're gonna stick this just in inside <clears throat> the vial, and we're gonna draw up one mil of semen. And so if you notice in this nine inch pipette, that is effectively the length of the pipette. So you don't have to get the semen up into your syringe and things like that, okay? So we're gonna keep that tip nice and clean. We're gonna recap our sample and put it back in the cooler. Then from there, the dough uh, is in heat. <clears throat> and so effectively what we want to do is direct this into the vaginal vault. And we're going to kind of go up uh, a little bit kind of towards the sky to get over the pelvic brim. And typically the cervix is going to sit up into the right in a lot of situations. So we have our dough in front of us. We're going to take a hold of the tail. We're gonna direct that in. You'll feel some resistance in the front of the vaginal vault. We're gonna pull back just a little bit, and then we're gonna dispense that semen in there and withdraw our pipette. So if you get much over one milliliter of, of extended semen, you're gonna cause that to run out on the ground. It's not gonna be effective. You're not gonna accomplish what you need to with it. So one mil is uh, kind of a nice working volume that gives you the ability to get your splash done. 